Sorry, I can see there I was blinded by my own highlight. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today and we're going to do a highlight tutorial. Da -da -da -da. Long awaited, I know, but I'm really, really excited to bring you this tutorial. It's basically how I created my whole entire skin look and I'm going to pop on this lipstick at the end as well. What my plan is, is to get this video out for you guys and then I'm going to bring out a nighttime look. A nighttime skin look, and then I'm going to bring out a barely there makeup look, um, which is actually super popular. I hope you like this highlight tutorial, and I hope you tag me in all your little glow baby selfies. And if you'd like to see how I created this look, stay tuned. Okay, so first thing to do if your hair's down is get it out of the way because I actually brushed my hair today. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so a couple of things that I've done already that I think are really important when you're wanting to achieve a pretty spectacular skin look is look after your skin. Um, if you'd like me to do a full skincare video, let me know down below. I will tell you two things right now that I'm using that I think are actually making a big difference. Um, first thing is Nip and Fab Glycolic Daily Peel Cleansing Pads. Glycolic Fix daily cleansing pads. Um, you get 60 pads in a tub. I think I got these from, or I can't remember, but I remember it was like a third off. So I think it brought it down to about six pounds or nine pounds or something. So it's not expensive skincare, but um, my skin is so much softer. There, any kind of spots and things like that feel like they're coming to the surface quicker. Um, and due to that, I actually don't have as many spots. So I'm really liking these. Um, and another thing that I've used, I've rebought this three times now, is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Um, this stuff is just incredible. Uh, it smells like heaven in a, in a pot. I just think this stuff is so nice underneath a primer. It hydrates your skin, it's got shea butter, vitamin C and E as well, so it's just really good for your skin. Um, it's probably one of the only products from Bobbi Brown that I really love. Um, okay, let's get into doing this. So first thing I'm going to use is the Clean Slate Timeless Primer from Tarte. Um, I've been using this quite a bit. It's really important to have a super flawless base with this makeup, so I'm just using that. Uh, where I'm pory. So I'm going to use up my chin, right my nose, the kind of middle of my face as well and then I'm going to use it on my forehead too. And it's crazy, it just totally takes away the appearance of any kind of deeper pore or shininess that you don't want. Obviously we're going to put the shininess back on our skin but oh, it's just absolutely amazing. It smells incredible, so nice. Um, and yeah, it's just like a really nice smoothing primer. Um, I've noticed as well, my, my makeup stays on a lot longer when I've got this on. Next thing I'm going to use is my foundation. So I'm going to go straight in and I'm going to mix two together. Both of these foundations I've used by themselves and I really, really like. Just now I am a funny colour because I've not put any tan on, but it's still kind of coming off and I'm still kind of brown from Thailand. So these two colours mixed together is really nice for me just now. And the first one is the YSL Touche Eclat in BD60, which is a little bit dark for me. And the Marc Jacobs in... A remarkable foundation in beige light which is a bit too light for me so I'm going to mix these two together um, I'm going to take one two pumps of the YSL and then I'm going to just take a little bit of the lighter one so that's the ratios because the remarkable foundation the Marc Jacobs is so thick and um, I don't use as much as that the YSL Touche Eclat foundation does actually have really good coverage now it's changed formula so if you used this a little while ago and you didn't like it neither did i but they've changed the formula and it's so much better it's really lovely so i'm going to mix those to the back of my hand with uh, my smith 115 brush and i'm just going to use that i'm just going to kind of dab it on all over uh, like i said this is just like my everyday routine so i'll just wake up put my makeup on and go out the door. This is exactly what I would do. 
Um, I'll probably do another video if I was going out to show you how my makeup is, but this is every day for me. Obviously, to you guys, some, some of you might like to wear this out. I probably would as well. But if I'm going out, out the makeup's a bit different. Okay, so once I've kind of stippled that on, I'm just going to use the other side of this brush and I'm going to use little circle motions just to blend that down my neck a little bit. I'm going to hide the high colour of my lips. And I'm not coming too far up underneath my eyes because I'm going to use concealer there. So those two foundations mixed together it gives a really nice satiny finish. Um, it is probably full coverage, maybe medium to full depending on how much you put on. That's not too much foundation for me at all. I, you, I have been known to wear more. So yeah, just covers everything. Nice colour for me, matches nicely. And those two colours mixed together gives a really nice kind of yellow tone foundation which is what I like. Next what I'm going to use is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes. This was one of those products to me that so many people were using that I didn't get it. I don't know if you guys do that but um, everyone was raving about it and I was like I'm just going to leave it. Everyone like, I, don't, I can't be bothered. Finally got it. I think it's because NARS is quite hard to get um, here. In Scotland you can only really get it from Space NK, but I went to Space NK and I got it and it's pretty, pretty good, <laughs> pretty amazing. So I've just put lines underneath my eyes and I'm just going to buff that in with my foundation brush. Oh, it's just, it lifts so much, it's crazy, it's so good, it's so good. Now if you wanted extra coverage you could use that concealer down the centre of the face, like round the nose and things like that. I'm okay just now. Quickly going to powder underneath my eyes first and foremost with MAC Accentuate. This is one of the shaping powders. I, if you've ever come to get your makeup done by me or had a lesson or watched any other videos, you'll know that I really like this. It's just a really nice lifting powder that sets everything underneath your eyes and it's ever so slightly luminous so seeing photos and things like that it just makes your under eyes look like so good and because it's pressed you can get right in with your brush I'm just using a Zoeva face focus brush um, pressed you can kind of really pack that on underneath the eyes I'm being quite careful just to use that underneath the eyes though and then I'm going to take a little bit and just go over my smile lines and in between my eyebrows the next thing is highlight let's do this so I'm going to grab my fan brush. I used to use a Smashbox one, now I'm using a Zoeva one. Um, uh, this is from the Rose Golden collection. They are the most beautiful rose gold brushes ever. So this is just the Lux fan brush. Um, any fan brush will do, I really I think so. I can use any brush to do my highlight, but I do prefer a fan brush. And the highlight I'm going to use today is my Becca Opal. So this is by far my favourite colour from Becca. Opal is just so stunning. Um, if you are a bit fairer, I would go for Moonstone, I'm sure it's called. Um, but Opal for any, I would probably use this on the majority of skin tones. And the reason I'm going to do this first, I will explain later. But what we're going to do is we're going to get a fan brush. And I pick up a decent amount of product on the fan brush. And I'm just going to go right over the high point of my cheek. And I'm rubbing it into my face, I'm not patting, I'm literally, I'm being quite firm with my brush as well. And one of the most important things about highlighting, if you want it to be as bold as mine, is that you do not powder your face first. What you want is your foundation to be quite dewy, quite wet, and then the highlight completely sticks to it. Um, quite a lot of people might powder their face first and then try highlighting. Quite a lot of people might use a mattifying foundation, for example, Studio Fix or Double Wear. I don't think are the best for underneath a highlight and um, that's why I like to use kind of more creamier foundations. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with the powder brush I used under my eyes, get a bit of highlighter and I'm going to bring it above my brow onto my temple. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my cupid's bow my tip of my nose and just a little line like a kind of exclamation mark so I'm just going down the bridge of my nose as well. What you can do, I've already highlighted my brow but if you wanted you could go back in with your highlighter and highlight your actual brow as well and um, sometimes I'll put just a little bit on my chin just to make my skin look luminous and maybe dust the excess 
for my fan brush just over my jaw as well um, I think the fan brush is really important and I think the fact that your foundation is wet is really important and the fact that I'm pushing it into my skin um, pretty firm is important because that means it's going to last all day the next step to my skin is just bronzing so the reason that I highlight first before I bronze um, and I'm going to use my bronzer to contour as well is because I've got my highlight on my cheekbones already when I go to bronze I'm going to bring it down my cheekbone um, the hollow of my cheekbone and then when I start to blend upwards a little bit of the highlighter will mix with the bronzer and it just it gives a really nice transition so I'm just going to use my Smith 118 brush and my Stila Stay All Day Light Bronzer and I'm just going to go on my cheekbones So it's important to start from the back of the ear and go downwards and then once you've got your nice line you can kind of use circular motions just to move it upwards towards the uh, the high part of your cheekbone. I'm going to go around my jaw. And then I like to use a little bit on my forehead just to warm the potato up. And instead of doing a full nose contour what I like to do is just get the side of my brush, get a little bit of bronzer and just bring it down the two sides of my nose like that well sometimes I get emotional at highlight or how good it can be healthy okay um, now what I like to do is grab a blusher this is my favourite blusher right now it is Peaceful by Tarte and you literally just need to go like that one tiny bit I'm using my powder brush and I'm just going to Put a tiny wee bit in between my highlight and my contour. Just like that. It adds the tiniest bit of colour, but it just looks really, really nice. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use uh, liquid lipstick. This is one of my new favourite brands. This is the Jure liquid lipsticks. You can get them from Cult Beauty. Um, they're quite new. They're made in LA but they're like French themed. So this one's called Pesh. I'm going to line my lips first with a slick stick from Illamasqua. These are quite new as well. This one is in the shade Dream because it is a dream. It's the most beautiful nude lip liner ever and it does not move. They are a little bit pricey at £18 but because they don't move and you don't need to reapply, I think they're worth it. So I'm just going to go round my lips just now. Okay. So once you've lined your lips, give them a wee rub together just because that does help a little bit with blending the lip liner. Now I'm going to go in with the Jure Liquid Lipstick in Pesh, which is French for peach. And I'm just going to pop that on. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny little bit of my favourite translucent powder. This is Chanel Poudre Universelle. And I'm going to use a tiny wee bit of that just at the sides of my nose because that is probably the place that I get really oily and I don't want it to look like my highlight is mixing with my oil and I'm going to use a little bit of my chin as well and basically that just sets everything it gives it a really really nice kind of luminous look and that's the finished look you can if you want set this with a setting spray I recommend the Urban Decay Steel Nighter but I have ran out let's go shopping so So guys, that is the finished look. I hope you liked it. Um, I feel like I've let like a cat out of the bag. I feel like I've let my highlight cat out of the bag. This is honestly, the Becca highlighter has to be one of my all-time favourite highlighters. I cannot believe the way it goes on my skin. It's just so much better than anything else I've used. Obviously, I still really do like the Soft and Gentle. I love the Anastasia Glow Kits as well. Um, what I'll do is I'll link everything I've used down below as per usual, but what I'll do is I'll add in the other highlighters that I really like as well, and you can go and have a look at them. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do other skincare videos and show you different highlighters so you can see. But this is probably my all-time favourite it is the shiniest and yeah it's probably the one I get asked what I'm wearing when I'm wearing it. I hope you like this tutorial and I'll be back soon with another one. Bye!